Hi, and welcome to this FONAF Coffee Break. My name is René Brummel. I'm a product specialist at FONAF and I will be your presenter today. As this Coffee Break is live, you can ask your questions via the GoToWebinar question window. We will answer them at the end of the Coffee Break. Today, we're going to add data items to your Business Central reports, the easy way. To demonstrate adding data items to your Business Central reports, we will add serial and lot numbers to the sales invoice from the 4NAV customizable report pack. However, you can add any data item to any 4NAV report in any extension using the instructions from this coffee break. To demonstrate adding data items to your Business Central reports, I'm going to use these steps. The prerequisites, what do I need to get going? In step two, I will add data items to my reports. In step three, I will add header and body sections. In step four, I will use a record instead of a data item. Let's start with the first step. Today, I will be adding data items in the Business Central on-premise Docker installation with the Business Central 2021 Wave 1 release. I have installed the 4NAV customizable report pack and I have executed the step-by-step -step wizard from the assisted setup to get started. Of course, everything I do today is also available on the Business Central cloud environment. I also have the 4NAV designer installed on my PC. The 4NAV designer can be downloaded from the 4NAV website. Please be aware that you need 4NAV version 6.0 or higher for some of the features we will use today. The first thing we need to do is add the data items. Today, we want to add serial and lot numbers. To get this data, we will need to find the item ledger entries from the sales lines. To create this link, we need an intermediate table, the value entry. So let's go to Business Central. In Business Central, I've created an, uh, an invoice, a posted invoice with some serial and lot numbers. And if we look at the lines, in the lines, we can open the item tracking entries uh, where we can see for the first line, we have two item tracking entries. And if we open the page inspection, we can see that these are on the uh, the item ledger entry. So somehow in Fornav we need to open the item ledger entry from the sales line. And like I said, we need to do this from the uh, from the value entries, which are linked to the sales uh, uh, sales lines. So let's do this. Let's open our Fornav standard reports. And today I will be I will be working in the sales invoice because the data set for a posted sales invoice is different from a uh, the data set for a sales order, for instance, or, a, an, or an unposted invoice. So I'll be using the, uh, the sales invoice. And the first thing I'll need to do is add the data item for the value entry. And to do so, I can simply find my data item in my standard controls and drag it on top of my line. I can find my data item table. And of course, I can simply find the value entry which is this one. Then I need to set my data item link. And the data item link, I can configure by drilling down into my data item link property. I can set my item number to the sales line number, which contains the item number for an item line. I can set my document number to my sales line document number. And finally, I need my document line number, and I can set that to my sales line number. And that's how I would get my uh, value entry table. Then of course, from the value entry, I need to step to my, uh, to my item ledger entry. So I can simply add another data item on top of the data item we've added so far. I can find my item ledger entry for the item ledger entry, you will notice that uh, the entry number matches the field item ledger entry number on the value entry. It's a one-on-one -on -one relationship. And Fornav recognizes this automatically and uh, fills it in for me automatically. So that's all I need to do. Now I have two data items. I have the value entry, which if I scroll down to the properties, you will notice is uh, the value entry table with this data item link. And underneath there, I have my item ledger entry. Uh, which is linked via the entry number is set to the item ledger entry number. The next step is to create the header and the body sections. We need these to display our data. So let's go back to our 4NAV designer. Now the header section I'm going to add on the value entry because we can have multiple value entries with uh, a single item ledger entries. 
and I only want the header to be displayed once. So I'm going to say right click insert header. And on the item ledger entry, I'm going to insert a body to display the data per record. Let's add some data from the item ledger entry. Let's say I want to add the item number. I want to add the serial number and I want to add the lot number. So I simply select them all with the control key pressed and drag them into Fornaf and that will add a table for me. I set the alignment left and set the background to yellow. So uh, doesn't do anything functional, but it makes everything a bit more recognizable when we demo this, uh, this stuff. And let's add the caption as well. Captions as well. Uh, of course, I'm working with the item captions. I can use item ledger entry item captions on the value entry header. That's no problem at all because I don't need to read data from my database. I'm just using the captions. So item number, serial number and lot number. Drag these into my header. Make these yellow as well. Let's preview the report in Business Central. And of course, when I preview the report, I need to select the uh, the invoice with uh, with the lot numbers. And if I do so, you will notice I now have a uh, an invoice with my lines and with my uh, item number and serial number and lot number from the item ledger entry. Finally, you may have noticed that the item ledger entry has a one-on-one -on -one relationship to the value entry. That means we can also use a JavaScript record instead of a data item to link the item ledger entry to the value entry table. There's no right or wrong in this case. Whatever works in your situation is perfectly fine. So to do so, let's go back to, uh, to Fornav. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a body section to my value entry, like so. And then we'll copy the body on my item ledger entry into the value entry. And this is just because I'm lazy and I don't, don't want to do all of uh, this adding uh, tables twice. Next thing I do is, of course, I'm going to delete my item ledger entry data item. And instead of a data item, I'm now going to use the, uh, the item ledger entry in a record. So I will open my report properties and find my records collection. And in there, I will add add. And that will bring up the wizard again. I'm going to type item ledge, which will automatically find the item ledger entry. I need to set my data item link reference, which is of course the line. I want the link based, uh, sorry, it's not the line, it's the value entry, because of course I need to, yeah, the value entry dot item ledger entry number table to set my data item link. And once again, Fornav automatically finds the link. Entry number on the item ledger entry is linked to the value entry dot item ledger entry number. Hit OK. That way I have my item ledger entry. It has the same name as the data item I had before, so I don't need to change any of my uh, item ledger entry dot item numbers. Fornav will simply use the new item ledger entries uh, record in order to get those, uh, those fields. And if I hit preview, of course, I will select my item number, my lot number invoice and hit preview. And once again, I get a list of all of my uh, serial and lot numbers. It's just that I get them from a JavaScript record based on the value entry table instead of from a data item. Like I said, no right and wrong. Uh, either way works, works perfectly fine. So let's recap what we just did. The first thing we did was to add data items to our Fornav layout. There was no need to create extensions, just add a data item and let the wizard help in determining the table relations. We added the header and the body section to display the data. Finally, we used a JavaScript record instead of the item ledger entry data item. Thank you for listening to me so far. Uh, we don't have any questions at the moment, so I'll wrap up this coffee break. If you want to know more about Fornaf, please visit uh, our website, uh, fornaf.com, where you can also download the Fornaf Designer. If you want to use Fornaf in a Microsoft Business Central Cloud, you can install it from the Microsoft App Source. 
And if you want to watch more of our videos, please visit our YouTube channel. If you have any questions about 4NAV after, uh, after watching this coffee break, please email them to support at 4NAV.com. Of course, we will continue our 4NAV coffee breaks for a full list of upcoming and recorded coffee breaks. Please visit 4NAV.com slash coffee break. With that, thank you very much for watching and I will speak to you in the next coffee break. Goodbye.